Hello friends, today we're going to check out this Miras Smart Power Strip. Welcome to this new video. So before we start, I have to say that Miras sent me this product in order to show it on my channel. But as always, I give you my honest opinion. A power strip is really straightforward, of course. But the advantage of a smart power strip is that you can control it on a distance. So you don't need any longer a smart plug like this or a smart switch like this. You simply control every outlet on the power strip itself. For this power strip, every power outlet can be controlled individually and the four USB ports can be controlled in one. Now you can see some specifications. So the USB port is 2.4, so fast charge if you use only one USB port or one amp each USB port if you use all the four USB ports. Of course, it has all the certifications it uses your 2.4 gig Wi-Fi network. It has an overload protection as well. power cord is 180 centimeters long Here you can see the four USB ports so the LED light of the on off button cannot be controlled but there are also lights in the outlets and the USB ports those can be controlled within the mirrors application itself You have the home kit code, so. The manual. The power strip comes at $39 on the Mirror's website. But check out my reduction codes in the reactions. So of course with four controlled power outlets and the controlled USB ports it is way cheaper than using all individual smart plugs. So I just wired my power strip and you can see all the LED lights are on and the on off button is blinking. And I also have one status light for the USB port. Now let's go to the mirrors application. at the device and here we have to choose the correct model so of course I have the European model but it also exists for the US model British model Japanese everything you want so let's check on the box to choose the correct one so the MSS 425F The status light is blinking. I want the HomeKit version. And now I have to scan the HomeKit code. Now the status light is solid on. Now I have to choose where it is. Go on, rename it, and here I can name all my outlets. And we're all done. And here you can see my power strip. I have new firmware, so let's do the update. Now 
Now I can control my complete power strip. So let's let's move it over here. You can see that I can switch everything on or off with one with one click. And here I can choose to toggle on or off the LED lights. See my Wi-Fi stream, the HomeKit setup code. So that's great. Now go to the home application itself. Here I can see my power strip. So now we know which one is which, we can change the names right over here. Now before I used this one for my standing lamp. Now I will put the standing lamp right in the first outlet. So I will rename this with the same name and then I can correct all my scenarios, all my scenes and automations. So let's check that that's the right one. That's this one. So let's rename it right now. And here you see my old standing lamp and when I go to the details I can see the automations where it is used so here it is used and now let's add the new one as well So here's the old one, and here's the new one. And there you go. Now it's also named in three scenes. So I'm going to do the same action for these three scenes as well. So now this is done as well, and I can remove my old accessory right now. So I remove it right here. So the old one has disappeared, and the new one is just over here. The great thing about these USB outlets is that I can directly plug my USB hubs into the power strips, and I don't need these kind of power plugs any longer. So here I have my Akara hub, here I have my mirrors hub, and I also have two UFI cameras that also use a USB A outlet. So I'll plug those in as well. I just checked in the application, the hubs are correctly detected, so they definitely have enough power. I'll just check out how much space I saved with only one power strip. I freed up this double outlet that's from the wall. I freed up this one from the hub. Two USB power outlets for my camera. My Akara hub. 
and my standing lamp. Everything is covered with only one power strip. Really great. Now overall, of course a power strip is really straightforward. You can do anything wrong with it, but the quality seems really okay. I love the look and feel. The green LED status lights are discreet, but clearly visible. The power strip is reactive using the mirrors application and the Apple Home application as well. So that's really great. It's a great solution if you want to use a lot of connected outlets and you don't want to spend loads of money on separate switches or power plugs. So one thing that should be nice to have integrated in the power strip would be great if this power strip that is connected to your wall power outlet anyway could act as a mirrors hub as well. But this said, I think it's a great solution, great value for money for only 40 euros and even less if you use my reduction code. So please check it out. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video. Bye bye.